Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on finances and giving. I will read both the King James Version and the Amplified Version. 2 Chronicles chapter 9, the King James Version. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem with a very great company and camels that bear spices and gold in abundance and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions and there was nothing hid from Solomon, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel, his cupbearers also and their apparel and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report, which I heard in my own land, of thine acts, and of thy wisdom. How be it, I believe not their words, until I came, and my eyes had seen it. And behold, the one half of the greatness of thy wisdom was not told me, for thou exceedest the fame that I heard. Happy are thy men, and happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne, to be king for the Lord thy God, because thy God loved Israel, to establish them forever. Therefore made he thee king over them, to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices, great abundance in precious stones. Neither were, was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave King Solomon, and the servants also of Aram, and the servants of Solomon, which brought gold from Ufer, brought algum trees and precious stones. And the king made of the algum trees terraces, to the house of the Lord, into the king's palace, and harps, and psalteries for singers, and there were none such seen before in the land of Judah. And King Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire. Whatsoever she asked, beside that which she had, brought unto the king. So she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold, beside that which chapmen and merchants brought. And all the kings of Arabia and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made two hundred targets of beaten gold, six hundred shekels of beaten gold went to one target and 300 sh shields made he of beaten gold. 300 shekels of gold went to one shield, and the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. And there were six steps to the throne with the footstool of gold, which were fastened to the throne, and stays on each side of the sitting place and two lions standing by the stays. And twelve lions stood there on the one side, and on the other upon the six steps. There was not the like made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of King Solomon were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was not anything accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Haram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish. 
bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold and raiment, harness and spices, horses and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots and 12,000 horsemen, whom he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. And he reigned over all the kings from the river, even unto the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt. And the king made silver in Jerusalem as stones, and cedar trees made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains in abundance. And they brought unto Solomon horses out of Egypt and out of all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book of Nathan the prophet and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite and in the visions of Edo the seer against Jeroboam the son of Nabat and Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel forty years. And Solomon slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the city of David his father. And Rehoboam his son reigned in his stead. The Amplified Version of Second Chronicles chapter 9 When the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to Jerusalem to test him with hard questions accompanied by very many attendants and camels bearing spices much gold and precious stones and when she came to solomon she talked with him of all that was on her mind and solomon answered all her questions there was nothing hidden from him which he was unable to make clear to her and when the queen of sheba had seen solomon's wisdom the house he had built the food of his table the seating of his officials, the standing at attention of his servants, their apparel, his cupbearers also in their apparel, and his burnt offerings which he offered at the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. She said to the king, The report which I heard in my own land of your acts and sayings and of your wisdom was true, but I did not believe their words until I came, and my eyes had seen it. Behold, the half of the greatness of your wisdom was not told to me, was not told me. You surpassed the fame that I heard of you. Happy are your wives and men, and happy are these your servants who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, who delighted in you, and set you on his throne to be king for the Lord your God, because your God loved Israel and would establish them forever. He made you king over them to do justice and righteousness. She gave the king 120 talents of gold, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Such spice was not anywhere as that which the queen of Sheba gave King Solomon. The servants of Huram and those of Solomon, who brought gold from Ufer, also brought algum trees and precious stones. The king made of the algum trees terraces or walks to the house of the Lord, and to the king's palace, and lyres and harps for the singers. None such had ever been seen before in the land of Judah. And King Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire. Whatever she asked, besides what she had brought to the king, so she with her servants returned to her own land. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents, besides what traders and merchants brought, and all the kings of Arabia and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made 200 large shields or bucklers of beaten gold. 600 shekels of beaten gold went into each shield. And he made 300 shields 
of beaten gold, with three hundred shekels of gold spread on each shield. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, he made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. There were six steps to the throne and a gold footstool attached to the throne and arms on each side of the seat with two lions standing beside the arms. And 12 lions stood there, one on either end of each of the six steps. The like of it was never made in any kingdom before. King Solomon's drinking vessels were all of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. Silver was not counted as anything in the days of Solomon. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with Hiram's servants. Once every three years, the ships of Tarshish came bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks. King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put into his mind. And every man brought his tribute, silver and gold articles, robes, armor, spices, horses, and mules, so much year by year. Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots, and 12,000 horsemen stationed in chariot cities or at Jerusalem with the king. And he ruled over all the kings from the Euphrates River to the land of Philistia and to the frontier of Egypt. The king made silver in Jerusalem as common as stones and cedar wood as plentiful as sycamore trees in the lowlands. And they imported horses for Solomon from Egypt and from all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon from first to last, are they not written in the history of Nathan the prophet and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite and in the visions of Edo the seer concerning Jeroboam the son of Nebat? Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel 40 years. Then Solomon slept with his fathers. He was buried in the city of David, his father. Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.